Hello everyone, I'm joined by young Liam Wiseman today. Liam, how you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm good, man, you? Yeah, doing good, mate. I've just seen you do a little bit of training today, a little bit of shakeout. Yeah. Um, how's things, man? Yeah, feeling sharp. Like, since April the 16th, my last fight, I'm still staying ticking over sort of thing, but uh, just kept my distance from social media, just... I just don't want to keep. I just want to keep away from negative people and negative comments, etc. Because it's just, it's such a. It's been such a hard start to the year. For example, like it's been flat out. I went straight into a camp. Then I boxed, and then unfortunately lost. But it was. It wasn't never a loss. It was a great lesson. And then I went, jumped straight back into camp again. Like the following week after my fight, and then boxed, and then fortunately beat uh, the Cobra, a very experienced fighter. And then after that, I just was like, look. I don't want to, I just want to take a little step back, a little breather. I'm only 19, I've had an unbelievable amount of pressure on my shoulders so far, which is uh, it's, it's always good, but it's just, I uh, just want to take a little step back and just uh, keep away from things and just knuckle down and focus on myself, focus on work and keep ticking over and keep working on things, but just not staying away from the social side of things. That's fair enough. Like that social media can become a bit toxic, can't it? Especially as yourself, you're young, you've got a good amount of following there as well. Um, so now you've stepped away, how have you found it? Good, a yeah, lot, lot easier, no, just nothing, I'm doing things now, not because not I had to, but then I had to, I'll have to upload things all the time and let my following know what I'm doing, and now I'm just like, they know that I'm taking, I've taken a little, little break from social media, so it's a lot more easier, do you know what I mean? Now I'm, I'm training and I'm not, I can come back and focus on relaxing and stuff, and watching telly and just little things like that. Whereas beforehand, I had to keep running my Instagram and showing people that I'm here and there and everywhere. And it's just like, hang on a minute, let's just take a step back. I'm 19, I'm, I'm, I'm not fighting for a world champ like title yet. Let's just slow things down and slowly grow into the game and not rush it because fighting one after another only leads into me wanting to fight again. Like I said before, I just want to keep fighting. And next thing you know, I'm 20, 21 with 10 odd fights. So it's just like, whoa. Let's slow things down, let's, let's not rush anything here. It's a learning process, isn't it? Yeah. At your age, because you just come from the amateurs. You, 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 did you have any senior no, amateur fights? No, I didn't. That, that was in itself a massive change. So there's a few things that went wrong which caused the loss, but it's a learning curve at the end of the day. You can, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You've got to go through it. I'm going to ask you about that, about your first, your first fight, your first loss. Um, because we didn't touch upon it no, when we touched no, upon the base. Too, I it was too raw, yeah. you got off your victory. Like, how do you look back on that, that defeat now? I'm glad, I am glad. In a weird way, you wouldn't be glad to lose, but if I didn't make that mistake, then I'd just become too comfortable in the fight. I, I didn't respect my opponent much. I just got in there. And I didn't get caught for like the first two and a half minutes of the fight, so I was just like, this is a walk in the park. And um, it's just little things like knowing your distance. With that little slight head guard on there, you can leave your hands down. And that little slight distance, we didn't touch upon much sparring with no head guards when I was in camp due to I don't want to cuts or anything like that. It's my first one, so we, we really wanted it to go smooth. So then when I had my first fight, it was just like just little things that went wrong. But I'm glad that it happened in a weird way. It's a blessing in disguise. And we'll never know now, but maybe in 10 fights time and I come up against like for a British title or anything, English title, and I don't make that mistake. Imagine if I made that mistake then and got caught by some big old puncher. Could be lights out, proper game over. Whereas that was just a little step back and now we're like we're straight back on track. So it's a blessing in disguise, it really is. And when we, when we talked about it earlier, we, we touched on it earlier, some of the fighters that have gone on to do great things in the sport who lost their first fight. It's funny that comes to mind, Marquez, you had Johnny Nelson, Johnny Nelson. you said as well, um, Bernard Hopkins, yeah. so all these top fighters. The, the fortunate thing is I'm young, you can't throw me off yet, I'm 19, what? Because I've lost one fight, you're gonna go, nah, I don't wanna, I, I'm such an uh, electrifying fighter, people wanna be behind me, I bring a lot to the table, so it's not really affect, it's, it mentally damaged me, but other than that, I've gained more followers from it really, because people are like, right, Look at this young lad, he's lost and he's straight back out there, like, you've got to take your hat off to him. So it, it has been a very blessing in disguise, it really has. What, what was the biggest transition that you found between sort of the amateur and then the pros? What, what did you find? Now you've had two fights, you've obviously come from an amateur background. Um, what, what's the big difference you've had? There's a lot, but it's so much more slowed down in the pro games. You have three threes, three twos in amateur and they're like tit for tat. You've, it's like a game of chess, you're, it is flat out. But when you're in that, in that pro game, you can take your time with things. You, you can't afford, 
early on when you're doing these full threes, you can't really afford to lose rounds. But later on in your career, when you've had 10, 12 round fights, you can afford to take your feet off the gas and uh, like look at who's in front of you and work them out sort of thing. Whereas an amateur, you haven't got enough time for that. I was at my best in round three. I was at my worst at round one, but you can't afford that. I think I saw that in your last fight yeah. when we saw it. You started off a little bit slow. Yeah, just wearing. And then your fourth round, you got I mean, second round, third round, fourth round, you yeah, went through you the gears. See the, you could see the why he's feeling more comfortable, which is, like I said to you on the last interview, I'll be so much better with 10 round fights, 12 round fights, because that would give me a chance to grow in the fight. Whereas by the time I'm getting to this fourth round, I'm not really knackered, but I'm just like, that's it now, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. And it's like, well, the fight's over. And you're like, Jesus, I've got so much more to show, I really have. But like we said, we take a step at a time. We ain't time. coming into a no eight or 10 round fighters yeah. anytime soon. Not yet, not but yet. Yeah. Take, take your, make the most of four rounds and then build your experience up, up and that. Yeah. So just going forward, now obviously you've had your second fight, that that's, that's done, we've touched upon that previously. But what's, what's it going forward for you now? What's the plan? So I, um, I've got like my birthday coming up, so I'm still Happy just going to tick mate. over. It's in a month, literally a month today, actually. Yeah, so my birthday's next month, so I'm still just going to tick over. I don't want to be eating like bloody lettuce and that for, over my birthday period. I just want to enjoy myself on that side of things. But then hopefully going to camp like mid-July after my birthday and start getting... I don't want to go into an eight-week. I want to... Obviously, I know what I'm, it's about now, so I can go straight into like a 10-week sort of thing because I want to get things right what I'd done wrong last time. Whereas I had a long camp for my second fight because we was just bouncing off our first camp. So hopefully look at fighting September, October sort of time, but there's nothing out there yet, but I will be fighting at the end of the year, definitely. Good man, and you're just going to be keep ticking over until then, is the yeah. best thing. Yeah. If we could squeeze two in by the end of the year, then don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm all down for that because hopefully, things work out we get one up york hall with good win and then one at home back at south Grape pier or any well, hopefully a bigger venue than south Grape pier because last time it was so short notice that i couldn't get as many as i would like to there well i was only limited tickets well, it's full full they were full just to watch yeah. you there weren't they yeah that, wow he asked me if i wanted to be main event because obviously joel uh his uh, opponent fell through and i was like no nah, i've got it in my head now that i'm fighting first, so i don't want to mess up i'm so mentally ready to fight in two three hours time i don't want to wait till the end of the show because there was pretty much everyone that was there was for me but after that everyone stayed so it was good but hopefully i'll get a bigger venue and i'll get more time to know when i'm fighting where last time it was like right you're still you're, you're still fit you've just boxed but we've got a fight in four weeks for you if you want that and i was like yeah so be it I, even though i was in there for a round it was there it was unbelievable yeah. i was like get me back out there you were cool as well wasn't it yeah yeah that was a, it was the atmosphere was unbelievable and, and that's what i like I'm, and i'm not someone that's stubborn I'll, I'll speak to every one of my fans because without them i wouldn't be the, i wouldn't be half the person and half the boxer i am because they push me motivate me and and Luckily enough, they get behind me and share all my success on social media, which is good. You need a team like that behind you. Yeah, no, it's amazing. And you do have that loyal base, yeah. which I've seen. Yeah, yeah. They're brilliant. They yeah. are brilliant. Amazing. They are brilliant. So just before we finish, is there anything else that you want to finish off with? No, other than that, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I've said what I need to say. Just be ready for November sort of time, September. But we, we, I'm hoping, my plan is to get two out this year. My plan, I want to I wanna bring it back home again. I definitely want to fight back in my backyard because it was just, oh, the, the feeling walking out, man, I can't express it, but it's just, it gives me like a weird feeling inside. You, it really you don't feel it, did you feel it at the moment or did you feel it after? No, bef just, bef just getting there at the venue and seeing it filling up and it, the whole thing just started taking a real like, right, we're back again. I, I'm so glad to be back, but. That's the thing, if I, if I didn't have my dad to tell me to slow down, I'd be just fighting all the time. I just can't, I love it. And my mates love it as well, because they're like, it's good for them. It gives them a little night out and it's good. It's, it's something for everyone to look forward to. Especially at the first one up in London, they all got like suited up. It's good for them. It's like, if, if you've got a mate like that in your group, like I said to them, I'd love to have someone that does that. I'd love to be like, right, my mate's fighting this weekend, get all ready and go, go get your hair cut, sunburn, get all ready for it. And then you're like, but yeah, no, they love it. But yeah, my plan, September, October time. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, at the end of the year, at South Bray Pier or Portsmouth Bates. Amazing, man. Well, we look forward to watching it. We'll definitely be down supporting you, my friend. Um, yeah, is there anything that you want to leave us before you go? That's it. One love, people. One, One love. love. Top man. Love you, Smashed it. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers.